What's up guys and welcome to a new three-part series. By the end of this series you'll be able to spout out a plan section and 3D model, which is a really lame joke for a nozzle, but anyways, why don't we go ahead and power up our CAD tools with ultra high pressure and let's get to it. Because guess what? It's nozzle time. Here we go. All right, ladies and gents, this is part three of three in the nozzle series. Let's finish up strong. We're going to take what we've already drawn and turn that into a 3D model. All right. So five things total that we have to do. This will be a nice short one because there's not all that much to do for making this model. So here are the five things. Number one, we are already in the top here because we drew everything in the top. That's fine. Number two, we're going to go down or over to the right side cube and we're going to do the bottom right corner. That's going to give us our 3D view. Number three. All right, so let's do a quick example here. Let's say I had something like this on the screen and I wanted to revolve it around this way. What I would do is select the model. I would join it together to make it one polyline. I'll change to my 3D tools, which is the gear down here. And you go to 3D basics and then you go to the revolve tool. You're going to select the shape that you made and hit enter. And then you're going to tell it like a book, which way you want it to open or spin around. So I'm going to create a line going down the very center of this model here, which is going to be the top here and the bottom here. And now you can see it's revolving like a book around that line that I created. So you can do one of two things. You could snap it to the end. You can type in a number like 180 or 360. I'm going to do 360. And then I'm going to go over to conceptual. I'll do a little revolve here and you can see how that came out. All right. So that's the example. Let's get rid of that. Now, by the way, here's a special shout out to Casey and Jody for being my newest members. Casey actually suggested this project for us, so thank you to Casey. If you're interested in having some extra perks on the channel, like project suggestions, shout outs, extra help, and even video collaborations, check out the link in my description to join Team Wizard. Uh, let's see, we did three things already, so we got two to go. These are supposed to be drill holes. What I'm gonna do is select everything, type join, I'm going to delete everything on the bottom side of this that we drew. So delete these two. But before I can do that, I have to put a line here down the center. So to get down the center, I'm going to draw a little line like this from one side to the other. And then I'm going to take a line at the midpoint and draw that straight down. Does not matter how far. Get rid of this line. Okay. So like I said, you don't need these two because basically it would give you two things. And if you did 360 degrees, then it's going to double up the model. So we delete these, we take these two, we go to revolve and we go from top to bottom. And you can see when I hit 360 enter, the problem with it is that you get that opening in there. And the reason why you get the opening is because this is the fifth thing they have to do. I don't know if I'm counting correctly or not. This could be the 10th thing, who knows? Um, I'm gonna take these two and pull them back apart because I joined them earlier. So hit explode. Get rid of this line, this line, this, and this. E, X, enter, and extend these two. We have to fill it in like it's solid right now, and then later we'll put where the circles are, extrude those through, and then subtract them away, okay? All right, so I'm gonna join again. So I'm taking all these lines. Oh, this one. Join, take this again, revolve, from there to there, hit 360, and then you can see that everything looks the way it should. All right, now, so we drew this model in the top face, which means it's kind of laying on its side. We could fix that by just going to the front, copying and pasting it onto the top, and then you would have it the way it's supposed to be, but not really any educational value there, so I'm just gonna skip that part. We're gonna go to the left side. And the left side gives us a view kind of like the top that we would use to finish this model. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this stuff. We don't need it anymore. That's just the top plan. I would suggest doing this in different documents. All right, so here we go. We're going to go X line, which is construction line. We go at the center, straight up and straight over. All right, so we're going to do some offsets here. Okay, so looking at the plan again, you can see that we need to know what this line is to this line, okay? We need to know where the center of the circles are so that we can draw them, extrude them, subtract them, okay? This is the last part. So looking at this one and a half here, you've got a one and a half from this little edge here to that little edge there. 
We only need half of that. Half of one and a half is three quarters. So from here to here is three quarters. We need half of that number because it's going to go from here to here. So three quarters plus one fourth equals one inch. So going back here, offset one, enter. You're going to take this line. Let's go back to 2D wireframe. You're going to do offset one, enter. You're going to go right, left, up and down. Now you can see that, that kind of created a little grid here. Uh, it makes it very easy to snap to where the circles have to go. And I'm going to take the circle tool up here. I'm going to go here. We're going to go radius one eighth, enter. Then I'm going to take the circle. I'm going to use copy to copy this around to the other three positions. And now I don't need any of these reference lines. Now do me a favor, guys. If you learned something, if you enjoyed the video, especially if you're still watching right now, like and subscribe to see more in-depth content. And why not go a step further and follow me on TikTok and Instagram? These circles are probably not sitting on the correct surface. Because when I did X line, I clicked this circle. Now the only circle that's this size here in the plan, you'll see that that's this right here. So when you do an X line on that circle or on this circle, it's going to be at that surface. It's not going to be at the surface of which we want. So we can move them down to that surface and then extrude from there. Or if we really want to, when I go back to top, I'm actually going to click the bottom left side. You'll see exactly what I was talking about but these are gonna be extruded all the way through the model and subtracted anyways, so it really doesn't matter that they're on the correct surface. Like I said, you can move these and figure out what this distance is and get them on the top surface, or you just take them and just skip that step and go extrude. You're gonna go all the way through. You're gonna do subtract, click on the big model, hit enter and grab the four circles that we extruded, which are now cylinders. Hit enter. Now on conceptual, you will see that this model is boom, done. And now guys, as you know, there are many ways to draw the same thing in this software. So I'd really like to hear in the comments what you would do differently and what might be faster for everyone else watching. Let's all help each other. You're still here? All right, if you want to draw something fun, go ahead and check out this motorcycle sprocket design. I'll see you in the next one. Later.